Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have a cute, um, easy one page wonder for us today and I've made it in two different sizes to just kind of show you. So this one um, was made with a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and um, with some of the extra pieces I made some little cards but um, it does this. It has little pockets inside and there's actually even more pockets. There's the outside ones that I just showed you and um, they load like that and then the inside pockets. You can just tuck something small in these side corners or something a little bit larger this way. So with the 12 by 12 piece of paper you actually cut it down to a nine by nine square and you get the little folio that's this size and then um you have some extra pieces if you want to make little cards and a little closure and things like that so that that's one option and then i did one in metrics <laughs> um for folks that like that and this is just a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter square and this one I actually just made out of regular copy paper. I printed it on both sides so you get the little, um, the little, um, whatchamadoodle, the pattern on both sides. But um, it's nice and thin and easy to fold, right? Um, and I used that little Velcro closure. So the doodads for the inside of this one. Um, the doodads, right, um, were just some little pieces I had um, from some other other things already cut out, but I did use a piece of the paper just to add that little embellishment um, stripe on the front, but then I used some other things for the closures and the inserts, okay? So I'm just going to show you how to fold it, and then you can decorate it and do whatever you like. So again, if you start off on um, this was a piece of um, eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of paper that um, then I printed and had some, you know, white margin on there, but I just cut it down to 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So that should work if you use like A4 paper or eight and a half by 11 letter in the United States. So um, we're just gonna fold it together. So let's remember what we did now. Um, Lay it down, and you're gonna just fold it in half, and it's a square, so you know it doesn't really matter which way. If you have some direction to your paper, you'll have to play with it to see what that does. But I folded it in half. Now I know it's kind of hard to see, but to that center crease line, we're gonna fold both sides here. It's hard for me to see it too, so let's add a touch of ink to help us. Um, and you can hopefully see what I'm doing. All right, that's a little bit. All right, so go right up to the center crease. Take the left side, the right side and the left side. Okay? Just like this. Easy folding. And if you're using cardstock weight paper, like scrapbook paper or something, it'll work. You just have to, you know, really crease it and all of that and crease it well. Um, okay, and then open it up, and then from using those crease lines, you're going to fold each corner in right up to those creases. You know, don't go over because you want it to fold nice and flat, but just go right up to it on each corner. All right, and now close it back up and again if you decide you want the other pattern if you've printed on both sides to be on the outside just flip it around it'll work so just decide which side you want to see all right now turn it over and you're going to fold one end up just right to the point kind of of that triangle all right and now this is important when you're folding the next side up you want to overlap it just a touch so see how mine's overlapped? I hope you can see that. Just a touch. Because 
you're going to tuck one, one in, it doesn't matter, one side in to the other side. All right. And it comes together, especially with this lighter weight paper, really easy. And then you fold it in half. So now, let me grab one of my little tags. I'm going to use one from this one, just because I feel like it. Okay. <laughs> um, you've got a pocket here. You've got a pocket here. And then you have pockets inside these angled. Now, whatever you put in these, you have to make sure are not too wide if you're going to fold it like this. Now, I had a couple of thoughts and ideas of, I mean, it's cute just to put the closure on it and use it like I did it, as a standalone item or to tuck inside, you know, a larger pocket in a journal. Um, but let's look at how we might actually add this to a journal. So this could be added to a journal page and then you get to it and it could be an interactive element. So you'd have your pocket here, your inside pocket, and then you'd have this um, piece. If it was glued down on the back, you would also then have this piece as a tuck spot, you know, and it could look something like that, right? With something hanging out. That would be really cute. You could also add it to a page flat like this and have your side tuck spots or you know you could tuck from the top and then have the inside as well and since you're not folding it then you could have larger pieces in here without worrying about it okay so I think that would be fun yeah. Oh, and you know, if you're not going to, you could have it open this way or you're getting flat with your tuck here. So lots of options. Um, I kind of liked them thinking of them as a one page wonder as a little, as a little folio or something, but it's also just, I think a unique and fun pocket that you could have in your journal. All right. And then all I did, like I said, was I took a, a strip um, that was left over and started decorating and then added little bits and pieces that I had on hand. And for this one, I um, made made some little tags out of the 12 by 12 paper. Now I printed just on one side, I just hadn't used this and it was actually supposed to be a, um, you know, it's a double page insert for a journal. Anyway, I just wanted to fold this one up to show you one more time how to fold it and for us to see what this might look like um, just because I'm curious and we'll fold one more time together and make sure you've got it. All right, so each side, this one's a little bit easier to see, I think, to the right to the score line. I've only printed the paper on one side, so we are going to have some white. And that's kind of what happened with my scrapbook paper too. And I just took my um, distress ink and just kind of distressed it. It's not necessary, you could leave it white, but that's what I did. All right, so fold each side in and then do each corner. And this is um, a cardstock weight paper. This is 90 pound. The first one we did was just uh, copy paper, just real thin printer paper. And this one is also cut to 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. All right, and again, I just went right up to the score line, but because it's a heavier weight paper, I'm just making sure everything is folded nicely. And you kind of have to keep doing that as you go because the thicker paper likes to start to bunch up. Okay, and now don't forget you overlap just a little bit so you, you go a little bit further with this one. and then you tuck it in. See how easy that comes together? And I thought, I was hoping, and it, it is, it's really pretty with that landscape type of um, pattern there. I got lucky <laughs> with how I chose to fold it. Um, this little tree is upside down, but I'm okay with that. All right, so just again, to show you another idea, and we have these lovely, whoops, lovely pockets and tuck spots. All right. I hope you guys like it. I hope you'll make some, decorate them up, make them look cute. Let me know if you make one. Leave me a comment. 
thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. All those, all the things. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.